People forget how beneficial body weight exercises are. Yeah. Doing just normal basic push-ups on the floor, doing push-ups on a bench, yes. doing your feet on a bench and your chest down doing push-ups, doing chin-ups this way, chin-ups that yep. way, chin-ups this way. Like some of those and body weight dips, I've seen people build great physiques, not like huge freaky physiques, but they get in shape. You know, it's like I said, mentioned before, some of the people in jail where they do nothing but body weight exercises. Yep. They have great chest and arms, so. And this was one of Arnold's, he reckons it isolated the side delt where he'd be like this. Like it's not a bad one, you feel it, but I can't really see the difference in doing it standing or leaning on this. Maybe it's good if you just want to have a little bit of a rest. <laughs> you do one arm, you can just lay here, you know, but to me. Would it be better if we gave you a pillow? That would be nice. <laughs> Turn the air conditioner on. But yeah, like you can feel it also, whether the angle it's on, I'm sure it's a lot stricter, but to me, whether you are standing doing it or, you know, some people do it sitting down this way is also pretty strict. You can do like two arms or one arm. And then if you came here and had the other dumbbell, you can do your rear delts which I used to like doing. I used to like doing stuff like, you count it as one set. You'd start off here, yeah. do your dumbbell presses, 10 to 12 reps. As soon as you come down, 10 to 12 reps, and then 10 to 12 reps. So you go from presses, laterals to rear delt. And that's one set. Have like your minutes break, scroll on Facebook, Instagram, and then start again, another set and do that like five times and that gives you a good all over shoulder workout. Then you can sit here and go into dumbbell curls as well while you're here. So, like I said, you're only limited by this. There's a lot of people that their only experience with training would be at the local anytime fitness mm -hmm. or you go in there, there's a machine for everything. Yeah. And really like they're, they're missing out on so much when that's why it's good to, if you have arnold's encyclopedia or some of those old books like the old yep. training books pro style bodybuilding but even if you just google arnold schwarzenegger shoulder exercise they'll probably show you the ones from yep. his book and because we're so spoiled by machines now i sometimes look at these books i'm like shit even i forgot about that exercise and it's just with a basic dumbbell you can do it at home so yes the machines they're good, they're good for the elderly too, and that sort of thing, but sometimes the machines can make us lazy, whereas you know, using free weights and stuff helps to stabilize the muscles, but there's so many exercises you can do with a set of dumbbells that, well, like, like anything, we forget. It's yeah. like having a smartphone. When I was younger, you could remember so many phone numbers of your yeah. mates. Now I don't even know my wife's number. They say, what's your wife's number? I'm like, oh, hold on. Yeah. Because we stopped using this, so. Yeah. When you, back in the old days, you had so many exercises. I feel like I said, I, I flick through a book now and I'm like, shit, I forgot all about that exercise. And generally they're the best exercises too. So, so do some research, go online and just look at different exercises you can do with dumbbells. But even um, um, if I'm at a pinch, using weight plates. So, oh, yeah. you know, like a, a, a two and a half kilo yeah. plate or- You can do it in Like I said, I can, I grab the 20 kilos and do like hammer curls yes. and stuff with it. You can do the same over your head. Like I said, we forget so many things that you can do with the most basic stuff. So, And and all, that also teaches you about... You, know, you, can um, hold, you can hold two plates and do shrugs. You don't need the bar to do barbell shrugs or dumbbell shrugs. You grab a 20 kilo plate each hand and you yep. can do your shrugs. You can, like I said, you can do your hold the plate, do your shoulders, you can hold the five kilos or two and a half kilos and do your laterals. So there's so many things you can do, but I, th I think we just forget because everything's become so convenient and easy for us that you forget about some of the good basic ones that work, if not better than the machines themselves. But also would you say that doing these sort of exercises teaches you how to um, get yourself in the right position? I think to, so. it to... teaches you the right position. It teaches you that mind muscle connection. Yeah. And, even basic shit, like if you're doing stuff at home with dumbbells or the cable machines, people forget how beneficial 
bodyweight exercises are. Yeah. Doing just normal basic push-ups on the floor, doing push-ups on a bench, yes. doing your feet on a bench and your chest down doing push-ups, doing chin-ups this way, chin-ups that yep. way, chin-ups this way. Like some of those and bodyweight dips, I've seen people build great physiques, not like huge freaky physiques, but they get in shape. You know, like I said, mentioned before, some of the people in jail where they do nothing but body weight exercises yes. and they have great chests and arms. So you can build a great body just doing body weight and you incorporate the body weight with yep. a few little basic things like this. You can't go wrong. Even um, training legs with oh, lunges yeah. and I, then- I do body weight lunges now. Yeah. I just do a couple each leg. And if you do that first, and then if you just do body weight squats, yeah. and I used to do like hundreds of reps, if you just do them, trust me, yeah. the next day I'm thinking, my legs are more sore now than if I had done squatted five plates, where you just do the static hold where you're sitting yes. against the wall, anything like that. It's incredible how your legs can be that sore, because like I said, your muscle can't see the weight. It's only going by the tension you put it under and yeah. stuff like that. So yes, in the beginning, you might have to do a few reps to get the lactic acid in there, but once they get pumped and start burning, yeah. It doesn't take much to keep it going from that point on. And I still would like to say I do the walk and lunges back and forth, stop and just do as many body weight squats yep. as I can. And the next day I said, I feel more pumped from doing that than like I said, doing weight sometimes. So yep. it does work. Yeah, it's just, um, that, 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 that would be my th like well, encouragement. I people too, they always think, oh, you got to go heavy. You got to use this and do this to build that. You don't, because you go right back to the days when it started. Look at the limited stuff people had back yep. then. Even before someone decided to make all these weights and stuff, people just used body weight stuff. Yep. They're more like doing gymnastic type training yep. and that sort of thing. And they had great physiques. And then when the basic dumbbells and barbells come along, look at the thickness those guys had. And now we've got all these machines and we do get lazy because, you know, okay, I can use a machine rather than do barbell rows. There's a machine for that, but you're not using all the stabilizing muscles and everything else. So. Go back to basics, people.